The overall goal of the following experiment is to identify regions of particular gene expression and to characterize the timing and levels of gene expression to contribute to the understanding of gene function. This is achieved by quickly harvesting and preparing the tissue to be used in the procedure to preserve the integrity of the tissue. As a second step, the tissue is treated to reduce the background binding of riboprobes. Next, the riboprobes are hybridized to the tissue and the binding of the riboprobe is visualized using X-ray film or light sensitive emulsion. Results are obtained that show the location and level of gene expression based on X-ray images or dark and bright field microscopy and analysis using ImageJ software. There are uh, about several critical steps that must be done well that many people uh, make mistakes on. And one is, uh, is preventing background. So there are a number of steps that can give you background, such as poor acetylation or not hybridizing at the right temperature. Another is RNA contamination that will degrade your RNA probe. So you have to be careful about keeping everything RNAs free. And the third is that the slides, when they are dipped in the emulsion, you have to make sure you don't have any light leaks around in your dark room or expose your emulsion throughout.